Hey, I'm Russ Frostick, and today I'm going to walk you through how quests work in Sea of Thieves. It's surprisingly complicated to get these working, but once you've done a couple, it'll make a lot more sense. The first island you start out on in Sea of Thieves is an outpost. Good news, because that's exactly where you get all your quests from. On every outpost, there are three faction leaders, and you're going to be talking to those folks to pick up new voyages. The main factions in Sea of Thieves are the Gold Hoarders, the Order of Souls, and the Merchant's Alliance. If you're looking for the Gold Hoarders, their guy is usually in a tent, maybe down by the beach. There's also the Order of Souls, which you can find in kind of this creepy apothecary looking place. And then the Merchant's Alliance, which you can always find right there on the docks. To accept a quest from one of these people, just talk to them, and you'll see the list of voyages that you can select from. If you're just starting out, these will cost zero coins, but as you go along, voyages will cost you money to accept them, but in return, you'll get a lot more of a reward. Now that you have the voyage in your inventory, you're going to want to start it. To do this, climb on your ship and head to the captain's quarters. From there, interact with the captain's table and you'll be able to select the voyage you want to go on. If you're playing solo, the voyage will start right away. But if you're playing with other players, you're going to need to vote on the voyage. That includes you actually voting on your own voyage, which is weird, but okay. Other people will also need to vote on your voyage. You'll need a majority of the crewmates. So let's say you're playing with four people. You'll need three of them to vote for that voyage in order to start it. Completing your voyage will vary depending on which faction you're doing the mission for. The Gold Hoarders, basically all their missions involve going out, finding buried treasure, coming back, delivering the buried treasure. Pretty straightforward stuff. The Order of Souls is more about combat. You're going to head to an island, kill a bunch of skeletons wearing blue scarves. Eventually, killing enough of them will cause a boss skeleton to appear. You kill that skeleton, he'll drop a skull, you pick up that magic skull, and you bring it back. Lastly, the Merchant's Alliance. These involve delivering specific goods to a specific outpost. So, for example, maybe deliver two white feathered chickens to a specific outpost or something else entirely. It's worth noting, if you are delivering animals, you're going to need to speak to the Merchant Alliance vendor once again to get cages for those animals. This is after you've voted on this voyage, so it'll involve coming off of your boat yet again, talking to that same vendor, and going back on your boat with the cages. I know it's silly, just stick with it. All right, once you're done with these voyages, very simple. For the Gold Hoarders and the Order of Souls, you really just need to go to any outpost and deliver the item back to that specific vendor. So for example, with the Gold Hoarders, you could just bring that chest back to the guy in the tent and you're good to go. For the Merchant's Alliance, they are talking about specific outposts that you need to bring the items back to, so just keep that in mind. Every time you complete a voyage, you'll increase in reputation with that faction. Reaching rank 5 will unlock more complicated quests that give you more money and more rep as you go along, but they obviously take longer to complete. If you're looking for money quickly, I'd recommend sticking with one faction until you get to rank 5 and then focusing on those rank 5 missions. But in the long run, if you're looking to experience the end game of Sea of Thieves, you're going to have to rank up all three factions, so just keep that in mind. Anyway, that should keep you busy for the first few hours in Sea of Thieves. Good luck and happy sailing!